Hello and welcome back to day 10 of my solve of this, the Escape the Sunken Submarine Advent Calendar. And uh, the actual calendar, that's its slipcase, looks like this. And each day you need to solve a puzzle to work out which door you should be opening for tomorrow's puzzle. So yesterday we worked out that the door we need for today is, oh, it's up here, it's the turtle, right? Um, if you watch the video, you'll have seen that it's this one. I didn't actually write 10 on it, so that would have helped, perhaps, make it clear. So, let's have a look and see what's actually really inside this room. So we opened it yesterday to see the 10 and verify we were correct. But I haven't looked at the detail of it. So there was a card in there. Okay, so it seems I'm pretty confident I can say that every day has a card which divides into two. And sometimes another object or a little bag or something. So let's see what the cards say. Today, I went on an exciting dive. First, a huge whale crossed my path. To my surprise, I spotted a star. Yeah, it's a bit unusual underwater. Which is a starfish. Followed by a creature with an eye as big as a porthole. Looking backwards, I hit my head on a bent telescope. What do you call those things? And I think that means continued. Um, then I saw a turtle and some jellyfish. Suddenly, a shark shot out of the darkness. Luckily, it was not after me, but an octopus. I quickly made a somersault to the right and two dives down to safety. Where am I? I'm totally lost. Where do I go from here? Well, I don't know about where you go, but that seems to be describing a route around the doors of the calendar, because each, you know, illustrated with this. For example, next to the turtle, I think this is a shark, presumably. Oh, actually, that's a dolphin. Never mind. I probably have to brush up on what all my... <laughs> Where my sea creatures are, but there is actually a shark over here I've just spotted. Um, let's have a quick look and see if there's anything on the back of this card as well. No, it's blank. Okay, so we have a story in three parts, and we also have a room to look inside. So here's door 10. Let's take a look inside, and there is a map. Right, so taking a closer look in the room, there is what's probably an apple. Oh, that's a leaf, isn't it? An island in the shape of an apple with a little leaf sticking off, and it has a volcano on it, and the Roman numerals... VII, or the Roman numeral VII making seven. And I think this is for another puzzle because I've come across five or so of these already. Uh, maps with fruit islands. And the rest of the room, I'm just turning my camera to have a look. There are some little turtles, in fact. And that's it. Totally awesome. That's all that's in there. Right. So let's zoom out and have a look at this calendar and try and work out what's going on because I think this is describing a path. So today I went on an exciting dive. First, a huge whale crossed my path. Where is the whale? Um, am I moving from square to square? Or am I tracing something out? Let's find the whale nonetheless. Um, here's the whale. Okay, first a huge whale crossed my path. To my surprise, I spotted a star that's down to here. Followed by a creature with an eye as big as a porthole. Okay, I'm guessing it's just the porthole. Looking backwards, I hit my head on a bent telescope. That's here. What do you call those things? Periscopes. Then I saw a turtle and some jellyfish. So turtle. Oh, let me move the calendar. Back to our turtle. So we've done a loop. Well, actually, we didn't start at the turtle, so that's not true. And some jellyfish. Um, suddenly a shark shot out of the distance. Here's the shark. Luckily it was not after me, but an octopus, and the octopus is here. I quickly made a somersault to the right. The question is, am I going to the right of the shark or the right of the octopus? It's actually not clear, but anyway, right. And two dives down. So I'm either at the tail fin of the, or whatever you call that, tail rotor of the submarine, um, or I'm here at the treasure chest. I'm going to guess that the octopus, since it's mentioned, is part of it. So right and down, down. So I'm thinking that here. I'm thinking that that's where I need to open my door for day 11. So if I open this door to check now, <laughs> I'm expecting to see a number 11 in there. Moment of truth. Little peek. There we go, number 11 in there. We'll have a look at the rest of that room tomorrow. So there we go. We found number 11, and this time I'll remember to write, oh, I normally write the bottom left, but I can't do it on this door. I mean, I could, but it would be pretty pointless. You wouldn't see it. There we go. Well, that was a nice, pleasant solve. I've just solved a uh, 
really thorny day on the exit the game calendar for to, for this uh, for this date, and I really struggled. So this was a pleasant light relief. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do join me in tomorrow's video when I shall be solving the door I've just opened or trying to, um, and check back to my previous solves that you haven't seen days one to nine. It's all a bit of fun, I think. By here are playlists of three advent calendars I solved last year. And by here, playlists of the three advent calendars I'm solving this year, which does include this one. Um, if you buy here, you can subscribe to my channel. Please do. It makes it easier to find future videos as well. And I hope I see you again tomorrow. And until then, take care and bye-bye.